Hello, this is Ninja Bob, and I'm going to try and show you how to get all 29 of the PSN trophies on Minecraft in less than 10 minutes. Let's start easy with opening your inventory. That will get you a bronze trophy. Another very easy bronze trophy, punch a tree until some wood falls out. Use your logs to make some planks and use your planks to make a crafting table. Place your crafting table for another easy bronze trophy. Now you can use your crafting table with planks and sticks to get some easy trophies starting with time to strike by making a wooden sword. Then make a wooden pickaxe for time to mine. Time to farm you get by making a wooden hoe. And then if you have a wooden shovel and a wooden axe as well, you'll get the more tools trophy. Upgrade your pickaxe, either to stone, iron, gold or diamonds, to get the upgrade trophy. Go kill a cow with your new sword and if it drops leather, you'll get yourself another bronze trophy. Kill any hostile mob to get the Monster Hunter Trophy. The last bronze trophy is called Hot Topic and you get this by making a furnace out of 8 pieces of cobblestone. Now we move on to the silver trophies. The first one we get by smelting some iron ore in a furnace to get an iron ingot. Three pieces of wheat, either from your own farm or stolen from your nearest village, can be turned into a piece of bread to get another silver trophy. Use sticks and string to make a fishing rod. Use your fishing rod to catch a fish. Cook your fish to get yourself another silver trophy. Use an iron pickaxe to mine some redstone. Use sticks and string to make a new bow. Combine those with some cobblestone to make a dispenser and get yourself another silver trophy. This is a tricky one. You need another bow and then you need to go out and find a skeleton out in a nice big open area. You need to move at least 50 blocks away from the skeleton and then try to shoot and kill him with your bow and arrow. It's difficult to judge but basically he needs to be as far away as he can possibly be without disappearing off your screen. Succeed with this and you'll get the sniper duel silver trophy. By now you should have hopefully collected a fair number of bones from the skeletons that you've killed. You need these bones now to tame five dogs. It's not difficult to tame dogs, but it is quite difficult to find five of them. Try the snowy biomes, that's always worked for me. Five dogs and you'll get yourself another silver trophy. And five new best friends. As silver trophies go, this one's actually pretty straightforward. You just need a few different resources. You need wheat. You need eggs from chickens. You need sugar, which you get from sugar cane. And you need milk, which you'll get from a cow using a bucket made from iron. Put them all together and what do you got? Yeah you got it, that's cake and a silver trophy. We're not quite done with the silver trophies yet but in order to get the last few we actually need to skip ahead and get ourselves a gold trophy. Seems odd I know but it's just the way it is. We need to get ourselves some diamonds. No real secret to getting this you just need to dig and dig deep round about level 12. Once you've got some diamonds Get yourself a diamond pickaxe and a sword too, not because it will get you a trophy, but because it's cool. The diamond pickaxe on the other hand is necessary because the next thing you're going to need to do is mine some obsidian. Using obsidian and a couple of diamonds to make an enchantment table will get you another silver trophy. 
mining obsidian is slow and boring, but I'm afraid it's necessary because as well as the enchantment table, you need it for a nether portal, and a nether portal actually needs 10 pieces. As well as that, it needs a flint and steel to light it, which you make using flint, which you get from gravel, and some iron. It's time to put that rather cool diamond sword to good use. We're going to the nether, and when we get there, we're going to try and find ourselves a nether fortress. Inside the nether fortress, hopefully, with a bit of exploring, we'll find a blaze spawner. And by killing blazes, hopefully, at least one of them will drop a blaze rod, and that will get us another silver trophy. We're also going to need the blaze rod in a moment. We get our final silver trophy for brewing a potion. And to make a potion, we need a brewing stand. And to make a brewing stand, we need a blaze rod. Good job we just picked some up. Hopefully while you were in the nether fortress, you also found some nether warts and picked some up. You're going to need the nether warts. First of all though, get some glass bottles. You get these by smelting sand to make glass blocks. Then on the crafting table, make the glass blocks into glass bottles. Fill the glass bottles with water. Add the nether wart and you get an awkward potion. Add your final ingredient for the potion of choice and you'll also get your trophy. Back to the gold trophies now, and this is a tough one. You need to kill a ghast by knocking back his own fireball. You can do this with a bow and arrow, or you can do it with a sword, and I've found that the closer you get, the easier it is, but it's also pretty risky. This next one isn't quite as dangerous as the last one, but it's still quite tricky. You need to capture a pig into a pen, preferably, with some space underneath that you can dig out. You then need to make yourself a carrot on a stick, which you do by making a fishing rod, and then add in a carrot. You need the pig to take full damage while you're riding on his back. So place a saddle onto his back, climb aboard, use the carrot on a stick to lead him down the hole that you've dug for him. Hopefully he'll take enough full damage without dying and you'll get your gold trophy. There's no quick or easy way of doing this trophy, I'm afraid. This isn't particularly difficult, but it's very, very expensive in terms of materials. You need tons of iron, lots of redstone, lots of gold, lots of patience. Building a rail cart track, which is 500 blocks long in a straight line, no turns. And then you need to travel along that track, and when you reach the end of it, you'll get yourself a gold trophy. Hard work, but worth it. I hope you collected up plenty of blaze rods while you were in the nether because you're going to need some more now. You need to turn your blaze rods into blaze powder and combine them with ender pearls, which you've gotten from the enderman, to make eyes of ender. Throw the eyes of ender up into the air and they will direct you to the nearest portal. Eventually they'll stop moving and that tells you where to dig. Dig your way down and that will take you to a stronghold. Explore the stronghold and hopefully eventually you'll find yourself a portal. You're going to need more Eyes of Ender to put into the portal, possibly as many as 12, which will open up the portal and when you jump through it, a gold trophy called The End? Question mark? We'll be waiting for you. So this is it. To the final and the toughest gold trophy of them all, The End. We need to take on the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon is surrounded by these beacons, which regenerate his health as long as they stay there. So you need to destroy them one by one. Two of them, though, are protected by iron bars, so you can't shoot them with an arrow. You'll need to climb up there, and when you get up there, use a pickaxe to destroy the iron bars and then destroy the beacon. Once all the beacons are dead, you can then start to take on the Ender Dragon himself. You can do this at range using a bow, get an infinity enchanted bow if you can. You need to be careful not to look at an Enderman accidentally while you're fighting the Ender Dragon. They will attack you just like they do in the overworld. But you can also get in close if you're feeling brave. Have a look though, and you'll notice that he doesn't take any damage when you hit his body. You need to hit him in the head. It's a very risky thing to do while you're under there. He can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Keep attacking the Ender Dragon with arrows, with your sword, with everything you've got. And eventually, eventually, you can take him down and you will be showered in XP. More XP than you'll ever see again in Minecraft. Then you'll head back home and when you arrive home there'll be two trophies waiting for you. There'll be the end, no question mark. And then finally, the awarded all trophies, platinum trophy. And that's it, 29 trophies. You've got them all.